Hello, everyone. Uh, Maneco64 here, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So, uh, yeah, the title of the live stream is whether there's any gold left out there, if you can still uh, get physical gold and silver, of course. Uh, just had uh, some good suggestions for T-shirts and uh, caps from Walter R uh, Riley. The best way to rob a bank is to own one. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, yeah, I will probably design some shirts for the Teespring store. I have designed some new uh, T-shirts and uh, mugs. I think uh, the latest one was uh, is about uh, having physical gold is the way for us to defeat Goliath, uh, the giant. Uh, the the phys you know getting the physical out of the market. I see there's quite a few people here today, already 123. I started a little early, uh, earlier because I saw there's a lot of people waiting, didn't want to make you wait anymore. Uh, so we've got Alfredo Costa from Lisbon, Dennis uh, the Gregor, hi Dennis, and so Ray, uh, so Southern SoCal Silver, good day, mate. <laughs> uh, the Australian greedy. Ben Gray, no bid. David Bradley, hi Mario, hi everyone. Edgar Edgardas, hello Edgardas. Yeah, great to see all of you here. MM No, hello MM No. Vikas 911 from Canada. Adnan Uden from Camden in London. Yeah, great to see everyone. Um, the uh, lockdown in the UK is supposed to go uh, on until April 13th. Uh, I just saw a story this afternoon. They're talking about it being uh, extended for six months. It's not certain, so it's not looking great. Uh, as for gold, uh, yeah, it, it was a really interesting week for gold. A lot of the dealers... Uh, don't have any gold, uh, like in the UK especially. A lot of them uh, have run out of gold and silver. Uh, the uh, dealer that I recommend, uh, not because uh, I'm trying to sell gold. I've recommended it in the past and have a promo code because a lot of you started asking me a few years ago, where can I get gold? So, uh, yeah, gold investments. They still have gold. Uh, they don't have any silver right now, but uh, I spoke to them this weekend and uh, they're getting uh, 35 kilos of silver. They should be getting it uh, midweek. Uh, I'm going to be doing actually an interview with Oliver Temple from Gold Investments tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it will be up later on tomorrow for my UK viewers, European viewers, even American viewers, uh, they might be able to uh, ship it to the U.S. You never know. You could try it. Uh, Jimmy Tidwell, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Crimex, that's correct. I'm going to come to that in a minute. I'm going to recommend another uh, interesting video about what's going on uh, in the precious metals market. Really good video from someone who's been away for a while from his YouTube channel, but he's come back now. So any of you uh, in the UK or in the EU or in the continent of Europe who are uh, who need to get a hold of some gold, check below in the description box. I've got uh, the details of how to get a hold of gold investments. Uh, they will open tomorrow from 9.30 a.m. London. Uh, you can deal online with them or you can try to call them by phone. They should usually be able to pick you up pick you up on the phone. If not, maybe send them an email. They've got all the details on the website. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to right now, because I spoke, I did a video uh, Friday night, uh, quite late for me. It was around midnight London. And uh, I actually only finished editing it and publishing it. Uh, yeah, well, Saturday morning, like one o'clock in the morning, uh, because uh, there was a really interesting article in the Wall Street Journal about gold. So the link I put there, uh, 
is for a video uh, from Balan GP on YouTube. Uh, gold is going into hiding. He doesn't have too many subscribers or views, but I highly recommend. He's really good. Uh, and he did this video uh, today. So I, I said the same thing uh, in my video on Friday night that gold was going into hiding. He gives the uh, you the uh, technical reason why it's happening. And I'll uh, try to summarize it in a nutshell. If you don't understand it here, I recommend you watch the video after the uh, live stream. Basically, uh, what the bullying banks do, and the bullying banks, uh, they lend gold to like the commercials, to the um, jewelers, to the to the mines, right? So the mines can sell the gold forward to to hedge uh, their mining operations. But uh, for many years, what you've had is the bullion banks. They they lease the gold from uh, the central banks. Right, and then they uh, sell it short. It's like buying a selling short a stock. You first have to borrow the stock. They do the same thing with gold, and for many years, uh, by doing that, they could take the proceeds in dollars and then lend it on the LIBOR market, on the London market, and make what they call a lease rate. So for them, uh, it made sense to do that because they made a small guaranteed profit, a pretty good return. But now what's happening, it's not paying for the bullion banks to do that because the le lease rates have gone negative. So uh, Bell and GP thinks that uh, what's happening is the very wealthy who have physical gold, they're not willing to lend it out anymore and they're keeping it in private vaults. So basically, the bullion banks, the LBMA market, the New York market, they don't have access to this physical gold anymore. And that's why we're seeing the shortages. That's not a good sign. Highly recommend that. And of course, in the Wall Street Journal that I talked about uh, on Friday night, uh, they mentioned uh, people like uh, Gold Money. They mentioned even Mike Maloney in the Wall Street Journal. And uh, one thing that got caught my attention is that uh, the London bullion banks were trying to get help. They got help, trying to get help from the armed forces or the air force in the UK to fly the gold, physical gold to London. That's how bad things are. So I think it's only, only going to get worse. And uh, I think we're coming to a point where I wouldn't worry about waiting for gold to drop so I could buy some if I can, if I can find it. I, I think uh, I've seen a comment here before I started that uh, in the U.S. you're paying over $2,000 to get an ounce of gold. So um, this is more a matter of protecting your wealth and to worry about a $25 or $50 move to get an ounce of gold. I think it's uh, at this juncture... If you can get the gold and silver, that's the thing. If you can get it at this juncture, it's not the right thing to do. Am I saying people should panic? No, but I would say one thing. I have been telling people for over four years to do uh, dollar cost averaging. So I think we're getting to a point where it's, uh, yeah, the, the window to uh, try to protect yourself is getting smaller and smaller. And, uh, I think we're going to come to a point, especially with what is going on in this crisis, anything could happen. They could shut things down. Uh, the markets haven't shut down yet, but that could be a next step. And then you have no access to uh, to precious metals. And then uh, eventually when things come back, uh, we could see completely different world, completely different prices. And uh, you will uh, not be able to get any gold. You will, but it will be astronomical prices and, and uh, paper of course is no good ETFs GLD or SLV what about glint I recommend glint still as well I know uh, they hold the gold for you but they hold physical gold it's audited in Switzerland so I still have my uh, promo code with them Mario glint 79 I recommend that as well 
even though I, I prefer physical, some people might want uh, to have some uh, like stored in Switzerland, insured. So I'll give you my uh, reference for Glint, Glint Pay app. It's Mario Glint 79. If you need to open an account there, you can use that reference. Bullion by post still selling gold. Yeah, there's still some uh, dealers that are selling. I heard from a, a viewer that shard in the UK. Um, he uh, bought two ounces of gold. Hasn't re hadn't received the gold until a few days ago. Try to get a hold of them. No one answered or a re replied to his emails. So you need to be really careful uh, when you uh, try to get gold from dealers. Make sure it's a reputable dealer. I see that Atkinson's. I've dealt with Atkinson's before. I like Paul Atkinson, but I I think in the last few days of last week they weren't doing anything. They've run out of uh, stock. So call silver. Thank you for the super chat donation. Thoughts on miners and royalty names. Uh, for miners. Uh, I would try to look at uh, funds like Sprott Asset Management Mining Funds and also the Tocqueville uh, Mining Funds and go through their prospectus and see what they hold. That's what I did. But right now, to be honest, I don't have too many uh, thoughts on specific miners. Try to diversify. They will do well eventually as well, the miners. Uh, so, yeah, one thing I wanted to say uh, if you're new to the game, if you haven't bought gold yet and you're going to uh, research to find a reputable dealer where you live, wherever it may be, make sure when you're speaking to someone there and it's preferable to speak to them, um, if you can, uh, make sure that when, if you pay for precious metals, uh, uh, make sure that the delivery is going to be fairly soon because what a lot of them do is they say yeah we got the gold and silver and you pay for it and they said oh it's going to take uh probably two weeks for you to get it which means they don't really have it so make sure before you do anything before you pay for anything make sure that they have it there if they can't answer you that they have the gold there or silver there if they tell you oh we're waiting for stock i wouldn't touch it that's my uh, piece of uh, advice. I don't mind giving that advice. Uh, DMC, you're welcome. Uh, so we've got over 500 people already. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not seeing all the questions. There's uh, a lot more people. I, it's uh, ironic, uh, but I'm not surprised that I'm getting a lot busier these days. Um, because what we're going through is what a lot of people like me and uh, others in the alternative have been forecasting. And uh, I guess it's happening right now. It's a huge crisis. The other uh, YouTube channel I recommend is Best Evidence. Uh, he doesn't make videos very often, uh, but... Uh, go and have a look uh, at Best ev Evidence when you have... Uh, time. He's just made a video today uh, saying how the Federal Reserve is basically lying about why they need to uh, pump up their balance sheet. Uh, they're using the coronavirus as an excuse. Uh, so the Fed has pumped almost a trillion dollars in the last couple of weeks, right? 964. So highly recommend John Titus. He's done some great videos. He doesn't do them very often, but uh, when he does, they're pretty good. Royal Mint Signature Gold. Uh, someone asked me about the Royal Mint. Apparently, they provide a service here in the UK that you can store the gold with them. Well, Royal Mint is part of the government. I wouldn't trust them with a barge pole. Uh, try to get your gold physically from a dealer. Uh, you can buy gold from the Royal Mint as well physically, but it's a lot more expensive than the dealer. So, uh, yeah, they charge big premium, as SW says. I remember years ago they didn't used to. I have bought gold from the Royal Mint before, but that was before the 08 crisis. 
So yeah, uh, I mean, one dealer that, uh, so in the UK, I would go for Gold Investments. They've been able to operate all this time. They've got stock. They're getting silver on Wednesday. Yeah, I have a promo code there. I get uh, some kind of uh, a little bit uh, of commission off that. But as I've said always, if you can find someone else with better prices, go for them. But my promo code there is Maneco64. And I will be making a video, uh, an interview tomorrow with Oliver Temple. Maybe he will give us some more information about what's going on. I'm going to ask him as well to talk about uh, what's the best way to buy gold, which is the best uh, you know, uh, for the UK, for the new people who are new to this. So it should be interesting. Uh, Jack Mills, I would go Atkinson since <laughs> I wouldn't uh, deal with Shard. I think there's also ATS Bullion is not bad in the UK if they have any. ATS, ATS Bullion, or also Sharps Pixley in the UK. Uh, you can look at Sharps Pixley. Colonel Crypto, can the UK lock down now? Well, we already locked down the UK. It started last uh, Monday, I think. And it's uh, supposed to go up until the 13th of April, Monday. But it looks like it could be extended for even longer. Mr. B says, smash the like button. <laughs> John Meyer. Hi, John. Nice to see you here. Hatton Garden Metal is also very good. Yeah, there's a lot of good dealers in the UK. Sharps Pixley, no stock. There you go. I called them uh, a couple of weeks ago when I got some silver. and They couldn't guarantee the silver, so I, I got the silver from Gold Investments. Gold Investments are getting 35 kilos of silver by midweek, hopefully. E EJ Champagne, what's your question? Sorry, EJ. I didn't see it go through. We've got almost 600 people. Uh, ATS Bullion, close to order. So it looks from... All the other de dealers that I know, only gold investments uh, will be open tomorrow for business or will have stock. Maybe Bullion by Post will have some. Uh, gold Sniffer Dogs. Uh, there's Billy. <laughs> Billy is a silver bug. Uh, Billy, the other thing Billy loves is bananas. <laughs> he was asleep today upstairs, and I, I, I had a banana. I peeled the banana, and uh, all of a sudden, he's downstairs. He smells it, and I have to give him some. So Billy loves silver and bananas. <laughs> uh, Baird, I don't recommend Baird personally, but try them. if See if they have any Baird. Uh, Tony Den Denzel, Bow Pony predicts April market down metal steep incline i saw that we'll have to wait and see I, I guess he was right on the call for the the february crash in the stock market or the yeah or march crash february crash in the stock market uh boris borisov bullion vault i haven't used bullion vault uh their prices tend to be higher uh and yeah I, I called them a couple of weeks ago. They couldn't guarantee the delivery of the silver. They said they're, you know, it would take uh, a week or so to deliver the silver. So I, 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 I think right now the people who have done well, and this is not because I have the promo code with them, is goldinvestments.co.uk. If you are looking to get precious metals tomorrow in the UK or Europe, Look below in the description of my video. All the details are there for gold investments. And they'll give you half a percent uh, off the offer price as well, a discount. Uh, <laughs> James Samuels, did the dollar die on Friday? Not that I know of, not that I know of, but uh, it has been weakening a bit. There's talk that they're trying to uh, weaken the dollar. 
uh, covertly the central banks. So yeah, the the pound uh, really flew uh, <laughs> the last uh, week or so. Well, beginning of last week, it was at 115 and it ended the week at 124. So the pro the pound rose a lot. Uh, but at the end of the day on Friday, Fitch downgraded the UK. So, but uh, I still think uh, gold and silver, those two are the place, place to be, uh, not in the fiat currencies. Uh, Bobcat Brent, wondering what's your prognostication on how the U.S. election proceeds? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, speculated before in the last few weeks whether there will be an election uh, with this uh, crisis, health crisis that's ongoing. And I'm not going to go into uh, the theories. There's so many theories here about this crisis. And I think the most important thing for us and for me is to focus on the money. <laughs> I'm not being greedy. I'm just, that's what I do here to try to protect, pro to help protect people financially. Uh, I could go on for hours about this crisis, but I think that's a, a distraction for us. We got to uh, keep our eye on the ball. I think it's, we're getting to a point where, uh, the window to to get some precious metals to protect yourself, if you can, is getting very, very narrow, that window. Uh, as for the election, uh, yeah, I was just reading uh, about uh, Trump, how he's been reacting to the crisis. He's been kind of behind the curve. He's He said in February that there wasn't a problem, and now he's saying there is a pandemic, but, uh, but his ratings are still going up. So if everything stays as they should, if there's a normal election in November, I would expect him to win, even though some people seem to think Joe Biden is going to win. I don't think so. I think Trump is going to be reelected. Uh, if the crisis get wor gets worse, then he'll, he will stay as president, I guess, without an election. Of course, that would be unprecedented. Uh, the first time ever since the uh, Constitution uh, came about. Even during the uh, Civil War, there were elections. So I expect it to happen, and I think Trump will win, not because I like Trump or I like his policies, but because that's the way I see it. Let's have a look here. Yeah, I read that uh, the uh, situation, the health situation or COVID is getting worse in uh, states like New York. So that's pretty bad. Here in the UK as well, we might have to stay on lockdown until June or for another, for six months. That's what got the government is saying now. They're not saying it's going to be for certain. But I think they're preparing us to lock us down for a lot longer. I think they're using this crisis as well as an opportunity uh, to kill many birds with one stone. They're not wait letting it go to waste. I know it's fairly serious, the, the, the virus, and uh, there are people dying of it, but I think they're exaggerating it. Uh, am I going to go out? No, I, I try to go out just if I need to go buy some, some food and stuff. Uh, everything's sh shut down here. No, no golf. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I, I think they're looking to. Uh, my wife went to uh, take her mo her mother the yesterday shopping because my mother in law she's almost eighty eight and she's not very well, so she had to go and take her shopping at the supermarket. My wife tried to pay with cash, and she said they looked at her as if she was a criminal. Uh, they're increasing as well the size, you know, the contactless uh, debit cards. Right now in the UK, the maximum you can use for contactless is 30. But I saw that from the 1st of April, they're going to increase that to 45 pounds. So I think uh, the agenda here is also to get us uh, not using cash anymore. The other thing that concerns me 
is that they will want everyone to have a vaccine after this is said and done. You won't be able to do to travel abroad or do many things if you haven't gotten a vaccine. And I think that I I would hate that actually. <laughs> I would try to fight that. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, what else? Uh, I think they're going to track us a lot more. And they're using it, of course, to bail uh, Wall Street out and the city of London. Uh, as I said, go to uh, Best Evidence. Go to Best Evidence YouTube channel. He talks about how the Fed is basically uh, telling Porkies <laughs> of why they're having to increase their balance sheet so much. Uh, let's see. There's a comment here from Isabella Damiano. Have a look, example, X22 report. They explain, but there are other facts concerning the matter. I think she's speaking to someone else. Uh, with a cash bend, would that devalue precious metals? I don't think so because uh, the system, uh, the the uh, monetary system is breaking down and uh, they're going to need uh, precious metals uh, for a new system. So no, it, it doesn't, mean, doesn't mean that precious metals are going to go down in my opinion. If anything, it would uh, probably become even more difficult to get them. Uh, Dave Humphreys, uh, how the crisis will play out. All I can say is that I think um, the powers powers that be, the mainstream uh, bankers, economists, uh, mainstream media, they've been behind the curve. Uh, I've been talking about the global supply chain since February when all this started kicking off. Uh, also travel and tourism. So I think it's going to be a lot worse. I don't think the economies anywhere around the world are going to recover anytime soon. And I don't think they will ever be the same again prior, you know, pre-2020. Uh, so that's the way I see it right now. It's hard, of course, to say exactly, but I think things are going to be very different. Uh, gold on eBay. Uh, I've done that before. You just need to make sure that whoever you're buying it from, that they can ship it to you and that they have a, a good uh, reputation, a lot of uh, stars or, you know, uh, feedback. If he's only got like two transactions, I wouldn't do it. But if he's got like 500 or 1,000, I'd do it and make sure that um, you're going to get it uh, get it posted. That's the other problem right now. You need to be careful with the posting here in the UK. The posting is still, uh, the post office, the mail is still working. Royal Mail is still delivering stuff. Uh, we've gotten packages in the last few days, but you need to keep an eye on that as well. With gold investments, for example, uh, when I got my silver, I asked them to send it to uh, Federal Express. I had to pay a little extra. Usually with gold investments, you, you don't have to pay. Uh, if they're going to send it to you, Royal Mail. Isabella, Trump is exposing Dr. Fauci. Okay, not sure what that's about. I know he's the guy in charge of uh, the task force. One of the guys with uh, Pence. Is it worth buying 500 pounds in gold from the UK? Uh are you in the UK, Andrew? I mean, it depends on your circumstance. Uh, I think it's always good to have some precious metals, especially now. Uh, UK property market. Yeah, uh, property markets everywhere around the world are going to get a big haircut. You've got the here in the UK, especially with all the buy to lets. Uh, the owners are not getting, uh, the landlords are not getting the rent. They will not get the rent because people are out of work, especially if uh, the government uh, keeps the lockdown uh, for six months. 
which is something they're talking about. I just saw it today in the uh, FT. Uh, John MG, look at the US debt clock. Yeah, uh, John, I, I've looked at those things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how uh, relevant they are. What matters is how much you can, you know, the, I know the market is manipulated, but you're not going to get that price from the, from the debt clock. Uh, I've seen that before. But it might be an indication of where the precious metals could go. I, I think uh, they're going to be priceless, really, precious metals soon. Um, it won't matter uh, because the fiat currencies are going to get des devastated. Uh, Alistair McLeod, I think he did a, an interview. Yeah, with uh, – here's his name. With uh, – He's from Gold Money. He does research. He writes uh, pieces for Gold Money. He did an interview with King World News, Alistair McLeod. He's based out of London. I respect his views, and I was surprised his latest interview. He actually said he thinks the fiat currency system, fiat money system, will disappear by the end of this calendar year. I was pretty shocked. That's why I'm saying it won't. If you can get physical gold and silver right now, if you have a lot of spare fiat currency, wherever you may be, I think it's a good idea to get some personally. It's up to you to decide. Uh, Graham Hobbs, how dangerous is the virus? Lord March has just run a two-day motor race over the weekend at Goodwood Circuit. So uh, spectators, marshals, the whole nine yards. Delete, know that it's a scam. I agree with you, Graham. I agree. Uh, I listened to a UK doctor, British doctor. Uh, his name is uh, Coleman. Yeah, Coleman. Quite a respected doctor. Uh, he said the same thing. It does kill, but is not any worse than the common flu. But I agree, uh, Graham, and everyone else who agrees with Graham, I agree with you guys, but I think they're going to engineer this crisis. So it doesn't matter if it's dangerous or not. We're still going to get a financial uh, Armageddon, economic Armageddon, I think, and there, it's been done by design to basically wipe out the slate, clean, clean the slate, and they're only going to be able to come back with a, uh, gold-backed uh, monetary system. And that's why I think it's important for people to have some precious metals if they can. I've been saying that since 2000. Uh, well, not 2002. That's when I started getting gold. It was only a little, a few years later, like maybe 04, 05, that I started realizing that things would not uh, last forever. A debt-based money system doesn't last forever because you have to keep increasing the debt. And we are at a point where we can't do that anymore. Uh, by gold backed, I don't mean, by gold back, what I mean is that they're going to have to let the price of gold go up to back the system. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're going to have be able to take your $20 bill and get gold from it. It's just that the they're gonna have to raise gold is the way to rebalance the to level the balance because uh, for too long paper assets have been too val they've been inflated too much so all that does is that it will rebalance everything and it it will probably go that way because we went too far that way so it's re gonna rebalance everything it might not be gold gold backed but the price will back it de facto that's what i think uh stacking and packing if you believe it is no more dangerous than flu why don't you get it why don't you get it what do you mean why don't you get it get what stacking and packing 
why would I want to get <laughs> get a flu? Anyway, I can't. I we're in lockdown in the UK, so I'm not supposed to uh, go out unless I, I go out uh, shopping for necessities. So <laughs> I, I don't understand understand your question there. Really, doesn't make sense. Hi, Mike from Sacramento. 100 million people will die from the gold reset. Yeah, I think a lot more people are going to suffer. And I'm not saying there aren't people dying of the coronavirus, but I think a lot of people, uh, more people will suffer from the economic hardship we're going to enter than the virus itself. Uh, Pabar, I think the oil price could go a lot lower. The key support right now is 20. But uh, if things continue to go the way they're, go the way they're going, very few people are going to be driving. <laughs> no one's going to be flying. We could see oil drop to 10 or 5 or $8. It could go through the floor, through the floor, the oil price. Don't expect it to uh, rise that much anytime soon. Uh, BC Joey, I don't follow D GLD. Uh, it's not gold, so I've got no opinion on it. Uh, I think the only way to get delivery if, is if you have 10,000 shares, which is the equivalent of like $15 million. And even then, uh, I, I would be surprised if uh, you would get any physical from GLD. Uh, John Meyer, thank you for the super chat. Could the COMEX blow up rather soon? Yes. The COMEX, as I said, uh, well, how would it affect precious metals market? We would, uh, it, the price discovery would be done through the physical market because COMEX is very important for the paper price uh, manipulation. And uh, I recommended at the beginning of the uh, live stream, I don't think you're here. I'll give you the link again here. Uh, it's a really good uh, video that came out today about how gold is going into hiding. There you go, uh, uh, John. Uh, have a listen to that video. And what's happening now, it's that it's becoming, it's not becoming worth uh, for the uh, bullion banks to lease their gold anymore because they're not making any money from it. So if they don't make any money from leasing the gold, they're not going to be uh, – and leasing the gold is the only way they can uh, short the futures because they lease the gold, they get the dollars, and they and they sell futures on COMEX, and they're hedged because they got the, the, the gold that they leased. But now leasing is costing them money. They're not making money from leasing. So that's why COMEX is probably uh, – not going to be around for much longer. Uh, looks like we've got a few uh, trolls here. Let's get rid of them. Uh, hide user. Okay. Trolls, yeah. A lot of trolls. They always, they're not, they haven't been that bad, but uh, they're always around sometimes. Uh, BC Joey, you're welcome. Uh, you stay safe as well. Yeah, uh, the, the stimulus is $6.2 trillion. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I spoke about, I made a video this morning uh, about that, um, about the stimulus. I, I think we're losing, everyone's losing track. Of course, uh, the crisis uh, gives great cover, doesn't it? Uh, no one except people like us are looking at that. It's a financial heist they're, they're conducting. And that's another reason why you need to try to have some precious metals. If you have a lot of uh, uh, fiat money in the bank, I would say. Joe General. Hi, Joe. Nice to see you. Uh, thank you, uh, Adonis uh, from L.A. One day pay used to be an ounce of gold. The other thing I, I, I heard as well, I've read before, is that a dime, a silver dime was uh, 
a pretty good pay for in the 50s. If you got a silver dime, you could, uh, you know, eat a good meal. Update on ABN Emerald Bank. Uh, I haven't really heard more. Uh, I think uh, Friday was the last day. Uh, if you had uh, you if you had gold with ABN Emerald, that you had to close the position down, and they're going to give you cash. Apart from that, uh, no more. Uh, West Palm Beach golf courses are closed. Yeah, they're they closed here last Monday. The last time I played golf was exactly a week ago on Sunday. I don't think I'm going to be playing golf for for a long time now. Unfortunately, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> not the end of the world, though. It is what it is. I know it, <laughs> it's exaggerated, but uh, what can you do? Uh, not much. Uh, the only thing we could do is if uh, gold goes through the roof and we have plenty of gold, maybe we can buy a golf course <laughs> and, uh, be, and and it becomes our private residence or, or win the lottery. Cyrus... Kadrezer, my son played golf yesterday. Uh, probably not here in the UK. I don't know where you are, Cyrus. Uh, TN21, great work. Keep up the good work, and I hope to see you around in London at some point. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. I have met a few of the my viewers, not many. Yeah, a Fed dropped a reserve requirement uh, to zero on the 26th. But the markets didn't do very well on Friday, did they? Uh, the Dow dropped 900 points. We have, it will be interesting to see what happens uh, tonight. Uh, we're back to uh, – we've gone forward our clock uh, today. So we're back to being five hours ahead, ahead of, uh, the, uh, of Eastern time uh, up until – Last week, we we're only four hours ahead. So, yeah, the markets are going to open in about an hour and a half. Uh, SAC Media, it's actually been quite nice spending time at home with the family. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the other thing. That's why I, the, the other reason why I think this crisis uh, is going to weigh on the economy uh, going forward, even after everything is hopefully cleared up, I think people are going to realize that they don't need to do a lot of things that <laughs> they thought they needed to. All the bread and circuses, right? Uh, yeah, we're going to miss the Masters golf tournament this year, but it's not the end of the world, really. <laughs> it, uh, so, and do you really need to go out like, Every week for, for dinner or lunch at a restaurant, no. Do you need to go on holidays every uh, three times a year? No. And to be honest, it's it's the way I've been thinking. <laughs> My family and I, we've thought like that probably for forever. Uh, we've been quite different. Uh, yeah. In the past, even when I worked in the city and I, I could afford uh, – we, we wouldn't do things we couldn't afford, of course, uh, unless I could pay for it with cash, never use credit. So for me, it's not going to be uh, very different, but I think for a lot of people it will be. And I think it's going to – people are going to be consuming a lot less. So, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, a new world <laughs> when we can come out of this. Uh, the Watcher, thank you for the super chat. Uh, good evening, Mary. What's your thoughts on Silver Britannia's uh, $19, uh, 19 pounds plus? Would you buy or not? Uh, yeah, I mean, I bought it two weeks ago. The price was uh, sixteen sixty eight with the VAT. I would buy it if you can get it at 19 uh, pounds plus. Yeah. Uh, gold Investments, they're going to get – they don't have any Silver Britannia's right now but they're going to get 35 kilos worth of silver and there should be Britannia's uh, midweek uh, goldinvestments.co.uk. You can use my Maneco 64 promo code. Uh, 
or or not. If you find some tomorrow from another dealer, well, do it. But make sure that they have it because a lot of dealers they say, yeah, we've got the silver, and then you 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 pay them, and they said, oh, we're waiting for delivery, uh, and it could be anywhere to a week or two weeks. So I wouldn't uh, buy it if they haven't got any in stock because they could make you wait months. German finance minister, well, he was actually the finance minister of Hesse, which is the uh, lender, which is a, a region of Germany where Frankfurt is. I saw that he was found on the train track. I haven't read more about it. But I would say Frankfurt is the financial center of Germany. So he was the finance finance, finance minister uh, for Hesse, which is a German state, H-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Um, who knows? Apparently it was suicide. It could have been Arkansas. <laughs> I, I'm sure, I, I'm, I don't know if any of you have heard of Arkansas. I'm sure you have. Uh, would you trade Bitcoin for gold right now? Yeah, personally, I would. I, uh, I think Bitcoin has a future, but right now, Bitcoin's not looking great. I think I'd rather have gold or keep both. Keep both as well. That's the other option. MM, no, COMEX will default. Te technically, is the uh, members of COMEX, right? the people who deal in COMEX. COMEX itself is just an exchange. They don't do the uh, dealing. But yeah, I agree with you. I think, uh, as I said earlier, uh, it doesn't pay the, the bullion banks anymore to uh, lease gold. And the only way they can short gold is by leasing it uh, from, from the central banks, from the OBMA. So it's costing them money to lease gold. So it's like when you sell uh, sell stocks uh, short, you have to lease it first, the, the, the shares, and then sell them short. Uh, but right now it's so, uh, it costs so much. Uh, leasing doesn't pay anymore because of the cost of storage has gone up so much. So I think that's the reason why COMEX could become irrelevant very soon. And I, I would say three cheers to that. <laughs> I, I've been waiting for that day for many, many, many years because I've I've always known that the COMEX is just a, a paper market. It's like a bucket shop. I've known it since before the uh, financial crisis of uh, 08. Hi, Revel. No, no, nice to see you. U.S. Uh, Roman Empire. Yeah. I don't think people should worry too much about the gold silver ratio. Just worry that you have some gold and silver things will uh, get sorted in the wash, so to speak. What you can't have uh, for me, the most important uh, thing is to make sure you have some physical gold and silver, not to worry about the fiat price prices of, of these things. Of course, uh, don't get ripped off when you try to buy some. Uh, I know it's difficult to buy some right now, but uh, make sure you do your uh, shop around for the best price. Joshua Porter, what do you think is a good ratio to change silver for gold? Well, in the last 40 to 50 years, uh, I think uh, the mean uh, ratio has been in the 50s or thereabouts. But I, I think uh, even though I know the gold-silver ratio is way too high, way above 100, I think it will eventually drop even through 50. Um, I don't trade, I don't do uh, exchange gold for silver. I don't think it's, uh, unless you're going to be trading it, but I don't see the necessity for it. I just hold both. Eric from Barcelona, if gold would be confiscated, would silver be as well? 
Uh, well, I don't think gold will be confiscated. Uh, and why do I say that? Well, because I don't think uh, enough people hold that much gold, you know, uh, or let me put it another way. I don't think uh, the people who hold gold like us, we are a minority. And uh, the very wealthy, they have gold. And um, they run the world, basically. People behind the scenes, they have a lot of gold. So they're not going to pass laws to confiscate gold because then, you know, their gold would be confiscated unless they broke the, the, the law. That's possible, but I don't think they will. The way they're going to get gold from the system to back a new system is by letting the price rise. Uh, that will bring gold from people that hold gold to the system. And, um, yeah, if they let gold rise to, to a, a proper level that uh, stabilizes a new monetary system, then they don't have to uh, confiscate. The, the price will attract the physical. And even, even I would probably exchange some when the dust is settled. So there you go. I don't think they will confiscate. Uh, then is the menace what happens to ETFs if uh, COMEX goes away? To, to be honest, uh, I don't really care about ETFs because they're not gold. They just track the price of gold. ETFs are going to be uh, – they're, they're not the way to hold gold, as I've been saying for years. The way to hold gold is physically. Yes, there are other ways to have gold. Uh, when you uh, store it with a non-banking institution, yes, there's a bit of counterparty risk, but every everyone's different. They want safety. Uh, there's also Glint, uh, Glint Pay. They're an app. Uh, they even give you a, a, a credit card where you can spend the gold, and they store the gold physically in a private vault in Switzerland. So, no, I don't recommend ETFs. Uh, ETFs are probably going to go away as well uh, because they all, they use a lot of leasing as well, the ETFs. Uh, I, I do uh, trust Sprott Physical ETF. That's the only one that has actually tangible uh, gold and silver. That's the only ETF I trust is Sprott. So, but not the GLD. You know who's the custodian for GLD? It's HSBC Bank. <laughs> Would you really trust HSBC with your gold? It's probably, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Flownet, probably, I, th I think they will. Some, some of them will. I think I heard something about Hecla Mining closing down uh, one of their mines. Well, we got some uh, people. Okay. I'll let the moderators get rid of the trolls here. I think we're getting some trolls. Yeah, uh, Anon, all the all the banks are really broke. Yeah, you can't t trust JP Morgan either. Uh, Global Observer, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, a debit card, not a credit card. I'm sorry. Some people... <laughs> Yeah, it's like a credit card physically. It's a card. It's basic. It's not even a debit card. It's a prepaid card. Actually, technically, you're wrong as, as well. It's a prepaid card. That's right. Bo, okay. Why don't you recommend buying gold from the Royal Mint? Uh, you can buy gold from the Royal Mint. What I don't recommend is you uh, buying gold there and leaving it there. They have a service where they store the gold for you. I wouldn't trust the Royal Mint. Why? Well, because they're owned by the government. <laughs> and I don't trust uh, governments that much. Sorry. Uh, but you can uh, buy the sovereigns from the Royal Mint and they'll ship it to you. But they they charge huge premiums, uh, premiums for uh, retail uh, buyers like us. Uh, but uh, Royal Mint... Uh, most of their business 
is with uh, the re uh, people like the bullion dealers. The bullion dealers get a pretty good price from the Royal Mint, but we won't get a very good price. The, we're going to pay, a, a, you know, a very high premium. Florence, real wife, beautiful Aiden, smash the like button. Thank you, Florence. Let me just have a sip of my water. And the Fed uh, mug. Huh. Uh, Glint, uh, I'm not, their charge is very little. It's like a half a percent uh, over spot when you buy gold. So, uh, no, it's not very uh, big premium uh, charge for Glint. Go onto the, their uh, website, Glint Pay, or their app. But, uh, yeah, it's not a very big premium. That might increase. Who knows? Because it does. You do get physical gold with them. I know you don't get it physically, uh, but you can actually. Some of my viewers have asked for delivery from uh, Glint. They've received, I think the, the smallest they do is 10, uh, 10 grams. Uh, DMC, would you use Gold Investments Vault uh, service? Yeah, I would. Uh, their vaults are the silver vaults uh, in London. Yeah. They've been around since 1981. Yeah, so, uh, and I, I'm not sure how much they charge, but you, if you give them a call and ask them, uh, yeah, gold investments. They, they, they've they been uh, storing gold since the 80s. In the 80s, uh, a lot of the banks stopped doing gold business, the high street banks. So they hold a lot of gold for uh, the clients of those banks. They've been holding it for, for decades, uh, gold investments. Uh, Anon Anon, thank you for your super chat donation. Adrian Gaines, thank you as well. When do you think the new currency will be implemented end of this year when people will lose confidence? Uh, it could be. I, I, I'm not sure if we're going to have a new currency or, yeah, we could have a new currency, a new, I don't think, you know, I still think we're going to have the pound notes in our pockets and dollar bills. But we might get something, a new re global reserve currency. So it could be before the end of the year or maybe beginning of next year. I mean, Alistair McLeod, who's not like a, he's quite a measured guy. He's the uh, analyst for gold money. He actually thinks uh, the fiat currency system is going to basically disappear by the end of this year. And I was quite surprised. It was in the King World News interview he said that. So um, I'm not sure. Uh, will we get something called the new pound? I mean, I lived in Brazil. I grew up in Brazil. And uh, in Brazil, they've had new currencies <laughs> every 10, 15 years. So they might call it a, a new pound or something or a new dollar. They'll try to keep the old name, but uh, they'll give it a new to make it seem like it's, or they might still keep the pound, uh, but it will just be buying a lot less. IMF and it's SDR. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. I don't know if we're, because the SDR is just a collection of fiat currency, so I'm not sure. That's going to – Bradbury Pound, uh, well, that would be uh, getting rid of the Bank of England, really, the Bradbury Pound. That would be the U.S. Treasury uh, – U.K. Treasury, sorry, issuing, uh, issuing paper money without any loans. <laughs> and they did that Bradbury Pound. That was in the beginning of World War One. what the U.K. Treasury did. It issued uh, Treasury notes. Uh, into the market, into the monetary system. Uh, after a couple of years, the Bank of England, uh, uh, you know, wouldn't take it anymore. And they said, stop that. Why wouldn't the Bank of England take it? Well, because only the Bank of England and the Fed, their monopoly issuers of the currency, 
They're the ones who can issue the currency, but they charge the treasury to issue the currency. So the Bradbury pound, it would be paper money, and I don't agree with paper money, but at least it wouldn't in debt the country. That could be an option. Maybe they could back the Bradbury pound with gold. That would be good. So they could issue the currency not through borrowing, but through just issuing it. And how would they do that? Well, for projects, uh, the government could have inf infrastructure projects and they would pay uh, the companies with that issued money and that would start circulating in the economy without creating a national debt. That's the That would be the Bradbury Pound. I think uh, <laughs> the uh, shadow uh, chancellor, the guy from Labour, forgot his name now, he's talked about the Bradbury Pound, but during the last election, they didn't mention it. So I don't know if they're still up to it. And I'm not a Labour supporter, by the way, nor a, nor a Tory supporter. Yeah, uh, Jane Smith wish Trump would convert some of his hotels into hospitals. Yeah, <laughs> I think the hell would freeze over before he does that. If anything, I think his hotels are getting, uh, how can I say, bailed out by all the, these uh, packages, uh, all the QE. Uh, so he's probably, his hotels and, and uh, golf courses are probably be, being bailed out. Uh, thank you, Carlos, for the super chat. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your contrarian views. Go enjoy a nice glass of wine. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, my wife came back from shopping yesterday, and she said uh, they were funny about taking cash. She took my mother-in-law uh, shopping for food. So when she came back, she said that to me, and I have some cash at home. I went down to this small store. I guess uh, it wasn't really a necessity. Well, kind of. So I took a, a, quite a bit of cash and I bought some wine and I got, I bought some, uh, I don't really drink uh, whiskey, things like that is don't really like it too much, but sometimes. So I bought uh, wine and uh, Jack Daniels with it. So yeah, I think they're going to be really funny about cash, paper cash now. Thank you, Carlos. I hope you're doing well. You're keeping well. Carlos, uh, by the way, for, for you guys, uh, when I worked in the city, um, I was a futures and options broker. I worked for MF Global. Uh, MF Global didn't have, uh, we didn't have a, a, bloke, a floor broker on the COMEX exchange. Uh, so Carlos was our broker. Carlos worked on COMEX. Carlos, maybe you could tell us what's going on now with, uh, with the uh, COMEX there's a story in the Wall Street Journal on Friday that uh, the London broke banks had they're flying gold with the help of the military to New York for COMEX. Maybe you know a little bit uh, that we don't. Uh, full of hope, Canadian club and dry ginger, vodka, rum and beer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Irish. Jack Daniels, no wonder you... You don't like it that much. Well, I've had a, yeah, someone gave it to me for Christmas and I've never had it before. I still have the bottle. I, I tried a little bit. It's not too bad, a bit too strong for me. But who knows how long we're going to be uh, on lockdown. The other thing I would say uh, about drinking, though, I try not to drink that much <laughs> and very often because you need a clear head when you're following all these uh, markets and what, what's going on. Uh, Carlos says he's been away uh, too long. Yeah, he's been away from uh, uh, being a broker on Comex to know the inside scoop. Yeah. I'll, uh, Carlos, I'll give you a link here by a, a guy who's really good on YouTube. He, he, he's talking about how the uh, gold lease rates have basically uh, gone negative. So it doesn't pay the bullion banks anymore to, uh, to, you know, to lease gold and, and sell it uh, forward or sell it short. 
doing the futures. Yeah, I recommend you watch that uh, YouTube video. He's saying gold is going into hiding because the uh, storage costs are so high now. Uh, and so the bullion banks, if they borrow the gold to sell it short, they're actually going to lose money. So that might be one of the things that's happening on COMEX. Thank you, Lord Henry, for your uh, super chat donation. Lord Henry says, uh, great show. I got I got uh, seeing the Lord there. I saw something on social media. It was an advert. Anyone can become a Lord. So, so you could buy this title to become a Lord uh, from Scotland because apparently there's a place in Scotland where they issue lordships for less than 50 bucks. So, Lord Henry, you could uh, become a real Lord if you want. Don't drink it, keep it. <laughs> yeah, it could be worth quite a bit. I think right now, uh, uh, gold, silver are here, and then you've got you know the uh, more sign from Max worth more than. Then you got toilet paper, and then you got dollar bills and pound notes. <laughs> I think that's the way it's going. Uh, the other guy, uh, I think, was a, an American hero, real hero, was Davy Crockett. Uh, I'm sure most of you know about Davy Crockett. He was at most most people remember him from the Alamo, but he was actually a congressman, Davy Crockett, in Washington. And there, uh, uh, Google him. I talked about him this morning. I think in the video. Uh, Davy Crockett and uh, Farmer uh, Bunce, B-U-N-C-E. It's a really great story. Ron Paul also, he's a, a true patriot. <laughs> Ron Paul. Stack and Packing thinks Ron Paul is another idiot. I don't think so. I've met him personally at the Mises Institute in Auburn, Alabama. In 2002, I met Ron Paul. G men earlier today you commented someone on YouTube bullion vault was connected to the Rothschilds. That's right. Uh, they they are connected to the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds uh, did uh, put money into bullion vault, and even one of the viewers here. Uh, I don't know if he's here right now. He was here earlier. Graham Hobbs. He he was thinking of get uh, buying some gold through Bullion Vault, and he told me that he, he saw that the Rothschilds were involved with Bullion Vault. So if you trust the Rothschilds, that's fine. It'll probably be all right, actually. Uh, it'll probably be okay <laughs> to hold gold with the Rothschilds, uh, funnily enough. But I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I do know John Adams in Australia. Yeah, he, he he does some good videos. He's spoken about the 80 tons that Australia holds at the Bank of England, and it hasn't been audited. I bet those 80 tons are probably going to go back to Australia now. And why do I say that? Well, because the bullion banks are not going to be leasing it anymore because it doesn't pay to lease. And that's the only reason why the R RBA keeps those 80 tons at the Bank of England so they can keep leasing it to keep controlling the price of gold. But if that's not going to happen anymore, what's the point of having the gold in London? So I actually predict that uh, the Australian gold will be going home before the end of 2020. I could be wrong, but I think there's a good chance. Uh, Andy Dion, Trump's middle name is Andrew Jackson. I'm not too sure about that, actually. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that Mark, Mike Corn, Jeffrey's C CFO, died. Well, I don't think he died of the virus. What I read is that he died of complications deriving from the virus. So, uh, it doesn't say much more. He could have had other conditions as well. Who knows? Uh, Billy 2020, he'd definitely get uh, the country back to sound money. 
Billy 2020. Uh, most definitely silver. Billy's a silver bug. Yeah, Andy, I, I know about that. He has a picture of Andrew Jackson in his Oval Office, but it was there before Obama, you know, under uh, other presidents, <laughs> and they didn't go back to a gold standard or abolish the central banks. So maybe he put it there because he knew people like you and me would, would notice it, and I did notice it, but I've gone way past uh, believing that he's going to do anything to really restore uh, constitutional money in the U.S. and abolish the Fed. Uh, I'm not convinced. I, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. And if I am, I'll put my hands up and say, you were right. Uh, but right now, it doesn't look like it. When did I start purchasing gold, Adonis? Uh, 2002. So we got 629 people. Uh, DMV, keep trusting the plan when you get taken to a FEMA camp. Have you heard about the Treasury Secretary in Germany? Uh, yeah, I heard about that. Uh, Arkansas or suicide. Well, he was the uh, finance minister of the state of Hesse, H-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. That's the state where Frankfurt uh, is in. So he's not the finance minister of Germany, but of a state of Germany. He, let, let's say it's as if he was the uh, finance minister of Florida. I know there's no finance minister in Fl uh, Florida, or there might be a secretary of a uh, the Florida State Treasury. So he wasn't that important, but I would say Frankfurt is the financial center of Germany. It's not Berlin. Oh, uh, Graham Hobbs is here. Uh, yeah, Graham, someone uh, asked how I knew that uh, Bullion Vault uh, had Rothschild, uh, you know, links. You're the one who told me, right? Uh, Bullion Vault. Okay, uh, I'll take a few more questions. I've gone a little uh, longer than usual here, uh, almost uh, one hour and one quarter, but these are extraordinary times. So uh, a little longer will do. Uh, Ryan Ben, I've looked at ATS Bullion, Sharps Weekly, and two other physical exchanges in London. Uh, bullion dealers, they're not exchanges. They have stopped selling online. Yeah, Ryan. Um, Check uh, below uh, in the description of uh, my videos, goldinvestments.co.uk. Uh, I provide my viewers with the promo code MANECO64. You'll get half a percent discount. They still got physical gold. Uh, they're going to be getting 35 kilos of silver by the middle of the week, goldinvestments.co.uk. They'll be open for business uh, tomorrow. Uh, if you want to call them on the phone from 9.30 onwards or on their website. Uh, you welcome the Daily Rant. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Thank you for all the Super Chat donations. And also just thank you for being here and commenting and asking questions. Uh, Jane Smith, can I have Billy? Uh, no, he's not for sale, Billy. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you, everyone. Take care, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, soon.